So I want to give a little bit of context here, first of all, okay? Um, before I explain what the strand is about, I think it's good to lay down what the drivers are for the work we're going to do or what we see the context as. So we continue to see this explosion of content that ADAPT is very familiar with. And over the lifetime of ADAPT, we've seen deep learning emerge and mature now. And it's at the stage where it not only augments, but often replaces traditional machine learning approaches. We're at the stage where the sheer volumes of data that we use and the compute power we use is enormous. And we've also seen a greater emphasis on fusing multiple modalities to improve performance. And you know, over the last five years, system performance has massively extended in all domains that are strongholds for ADAPT, you know, NLP, machine translation, speech, video, graphics. But at the same time, despite all this, we still see major challenges across these fields. A lot of people are excluded from useful content. One obvious case is language barrier, um, but there are many others. So physical disabilities can exclude access to speech technology. Everyday people can be excluded from content creation in the videographic space because they don't have expensive um, have access to expensive post-production tools. Or you know, the simple reason might just be that you're not this, you know, average or typical user that a system was designed for. You know, for example, maybe English is your second language and whilst you are fluent, you speak with a strong accent. So systems have natural biases from the training data that they're exposed to, again, leading to potential exclusion for everyday users. And these issues are present across all the domains that we work in. So in ADAPT, we've got a unique opportunity to bring these people together. So if you think about it across the current form of ADAPT, we have in theme A, B and D, we have people working in natural language processing, machine translation, speech, video and image processing and graphics. And we have a unique perspective on how to tackle the challenges that I talked about in the first slide there. So for the next phase of ADAPT, what we're going to do is bring all these teams closer together. Already, a lot of our existing work is underpinned by common um, approaches in machine learning, multimodality, and um, the constant ADAPT theme, if you like, of the human user or that human in the loop consideration. So going forward, we believe that closer collaboration on these fronts will stand to our research in ADAPT. And that's where the digital content transformation strand comes from. So within ADAPT, um, the digital content transformation will be taking the algorithmic perspective on how you achieve a balanced digital society. Um, but this will give you an idea of how these different strands fit together. So there is digital content transformation in the middle on the left there, taking an algorithmic perspective and you know, delivering uh, technology that's scalable and inclusive and looking at these different potential application areas in the longer term. So this is where we see ADAPT going um, beyond the end of this year and for the next number of years going forward. Our objective in terms of research within this strand is to enable content to flow freely across different languages, cultures and modalities for a diverse set of users across multiple use cases. In this round, we want to allow people to become informed, connect with others and be entertained through uh, an enhanced interaction with digital content in many different forms. Like all the other strands, we've um, structured the research across three core challenges, okay? Um, all of these challenges are built around um, the issues of overload and exclusion, okay? So how can we manage, process, and manipulate content to address those problems? So we've got three challenges here. The first one in is analysis. So in analyzing digital content, we'll look at extracting representational forms from content. So, you know, in my own area of speech, that might be analyzing accent in speech. So um, that, that would be the, the form extracted from that content. In the generating digital content challenge, 
we'll be looking at creating new content. So that might be something like speech synthesis to continue the speech theme selfishly. And then in transformation, um, we're looking at transforming digital content. So that might be moving between languages in machine translation as, as an example. So all of these challenges are structured so that they will have multiple different research aspects. You know, there'd be no particular challenge, which is only machine translation or only video. All these people will be working together and we think that's going to work really well going forward and be a major strength of this. These three strands don't stand independently. We're not three mini research centres all you know, competing against each other. That's not the idea at all. Um, we've worked very closely together to ensure that we have um, the maximum opportunity for collaboration. So underpinning all work in ADAPT, we've identified these themes of drivable AI and attentive AI.